Gabriel, Gabriel, commonly known as Gabriel the Archangel, is a prominent figure in various religious traditions, including Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. In Judaism, Gabriel is mentioned in the Hebrew Bible, particularly in the Book of Daniel, where he explains Daniel's visions. He is also described in other ancient Jewish writings, such as the Book of Enoch. Gabriel is considered the guardian angel of Israel, protecting its people from other nations' angels. In Christianity, Gabriel plays a significant role in announcing the births of John the Baptist, Baptist and Jesus Christ. In Islam, Gabriel is known as Jibril, who delivered the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad. Abaddon. Abaddon, also known as Apollyon, is a term originating from Hebrew and Greek, respectively meaning destruction and destroyer. In religious texts, particularly the Bible and Christian literature, Abaddon is depicted both as a place of utter destruction and as an angel associated with the abyss. Adathan and Yadathan. In Mandaism, Adathan and Yadathan are significant figures known as Uthras, which can be understood as angels or guardians. They are depicted as standing at the gate of life in the world of light, where they engage in praising and worshipping Hayi Rabbi, a term used in Mandaean prayers to refer to the living God. Adriel, which is of Hebrew origin, meaning God's helper or follower of God. In some traditions, Adriel is also considered an archangel. Agiel. Agiel is described as the intelligence or beneficial spirit associated with the planet Saturn in certain mystical texts. Amitiel. The angel Amitiel has often been associated with truth and understanding. Rather than providing divine angelic assistance, Ananiel. According to the Book of Enoch, Ananiel was entrusted by God with dominion over various natural phenomena, including all the trees and plants of the earth, as well as aspects of weather such as rain, dew, heat, wind, and other atmospheric occurrences. Additionally, Ananiel is described as a guardian of the gates of the south wind, which is associated with specific weather patterns and blessings. Anush. In Mandaism, Anush is a light world being, Uthra, who taught John the Baptist and performed many of the same miracles within Jerusalem typically ascribed to Jesus by Christians. Arachiel. Arachiel is a fallen angel, the second mentioned of the 20 watcher leaders of the 200 fallen angels in the Book of Enoch, who taught humans the signs of the earth, believed to be the art of geomancy. Arariel. Arariel is an angel who, according to the rabbis of the Talmud, takes charge of the waters of the earth. Fishermen invoke him so that they may take large fish. Ariel. Ariel means altar, or lion of God in Hebrew, also known as the angel of nature. As with all archangels, Ariel is sometimes depicted in male form. She is, however, more often seen as female. She oversees the protection and healing of animals and plants, as well as the care of the earth's elements, such as water, wind, and fire. She punishes those who harm God's creation. In some interpretations, Ariel is also a liaison between the human and the elemental world of sprites, fairies, mystical crystals, and other manifestations of magic. Armaros. He is the angel of undoing and the researcher of counter magic. Armaros would guide humans to research and discover ways to counter magical users, which resulted in further destruction and corrupt advancement of civilizations. Artia Il. Artia Il is an angel in Islamic lore, believed to remove the grief of humans. Asbil. In Christianity, Asbil is the fallen angel of ruin. Azazel. In Judaism, Azazel is primarily associated with the Day of Atonementas. He is sometimes interpreted as the name of the demon or wilderness spirit to which the scapegoat was sent. In Christian tradition, Azazel is often portrayed as a powerful demon associated with temptation, corruption, and evil. In Islamic tradition, Azazel is not specifically mentioned in the Quran, but there are references to Iblis and his rebellious nature. Iblis refused to bow down to Adam and was expelled from paradise as a result. He is depicted as the ultimate adversary of humanity. He seeks to lead people astray and encourages disobedience to Allah. Azrael. Azrael is the angel of death in some Abrahamic religions, namely Islam and Christian popular culture. Barakiel. Barakiel is an archangel known as the Angel of Blessings, and this angel is also the chief of all of the guardian angels. Barakiel. In the Book of Enoch, the name means Lightning of God, which is fitting since it has been said that Barakiel taught men astrology during the days of Jared. Barbiel. Barbiel is a fallen angel, also described as a good angel. As a fallen angel, Barbiel is the former prince of the orders of virtues and angels, Beburos. Beburos is an angel mentioned in the Greek Apocalypse of Ezra, whose name was revealed to Esdras as one of the nine angels who will govern at the end of the world.
Bezaliel, Bezaliel, the Angel of Shadows, was the thirteenth watcher of the twenty leaders of the two hundred fallen angels that are mentioned in the Book of Enoch. Biram. In Mandaism, Biram, also known as Biram Rabba, is regarded as an Uthra, or angelic guardian, who holds authority over the Mas Buta, the baptismal ritual central to Mandaism. Kamel. Kamel, also known as Kamul or Kamul, is an angelic figure found in various religious and mystical traditions, including Judaism, Christianity, and esoteric literature. In some interpretations, Kamel is considered one of the archangels, often associated with divine justice, strength, and courage. Cassiel. Cassiel is an angelic figure in various religious and mystical traditions, particularly in Christian, Jewish, and mystical literature. Also known as Kafsiel or Kafsiel, Cassiel is often associated with solitude, contemplation, and the Angel of Tears. Chalkaidri. In the Book of Enoch, the Chalkaidri are depicted as celestial creatures, dwelling near the sun and participating in the cycle of the Earth's rotation, bringing heat and dew to the planet. Chazakiel. Chazakiel is indeed listed as the eighth watcher among the leaders of the two hundred fallen angels in the Book of Enoch. The name Chazakiel can be translated to mean cloud of God or strength of God, and in some interpretations it's associated with teachings related to meteorology and the knowledge of clouds. Cherub. A cherub is one of the unearthly beings who directly attend to God, according to Abrahamic religions. The numerous depictions of cherubim assign to them many different roles, such as protecting the entrance of the Garden of Eden. Daniel. Daniel, also spelled Danel, is an angel, the seventh mentioned of the twenty watcher leaders of the two hundred angels in the Book of Enoch, who taught the signs of the sun to humans. Duma. Duma is indeed mentioned in both rabbinical and Islamic literature as an angel associated with the realm of the dead, particularly with authority over the wicked. In Jewish tradition, Duma is often depicted as an angel of silence or the angel of death who guards over the souls of the deceased. Abatur. Abatur is a significant figure within the Mandian religion. He is depicted in two distinct personae, Abatur Rama, representing the celestial and lofty aspect of Abatur, and Abatur of the Scales, who holds the responsibility of weighing the souls of the deceased to determine their fate. Gubran. In Mandaism, Gubran, also known as Gubran Uthra, is an Uthra, which refers to an angel or guardian. Gubran is associated with rebellion against Yushamin and his 21 sons, as depicted in the Mandaean Book of John. Hadraniel. Hadraniel, also known as Hadrianiel in variant spellings, is an angel in Jewish angelology who serves as the gatekeeper at the second gate in heaven. His name signifies majesty or greatness of God. Hadraniel is described as an immense figure, towering over two million miles tall, making him a daunting presence. Hamalat al-Arsh, in Islamic tradition, refers to the angels who carry the throne of Allah, Haniel, Haniel, whose Hebrew name means God is my grace, is an angel prominent in Jewish lore and angelology, often counted among the seven archangels. Haniel is associated with the planet Venus and is regarded as the archangel of the Sapphira Netzach in Jewish mysticism. Harut and Marut. Harut and Marut are a pair of angels mentioned in the Quran. They are depicted as angels who were sent down to Babylon to test humans by teaching them the forbidden arts of sorcery. Hibil. In Mandaism, Hibil, also known as Hibil Ziwa, is an Uthra, meaning excellency, and is considered an angel or guardian originating from the world of light. Hibil is regarded as the Mandaean counterpart to Abel from the biblical narrative. Imamaya. Imamaya is a Kabbalistic angel within the Jewish mystical tradition. The name Imamaya is derived from Hebrew and can be interpreted to mean the God hidden in darkness. Israfil. Israfil, also spelled Israfel, is a prominent figure in Islamic tradition, known as the angel who will blow the trumpet to herald the Day of Judgment. Jegudiel. Jegudiel, also known as Saint Yehudiel, holds a significant place in Eastern Orthodox tradition as one of the seven archangels. He is often depicted in iconography holding a crown and a three-thonged whip, symbolizing reward for the righteous and punishment for sinners. Yahuel. In the Apocalypse of Abraham, Yahuel is portrayed as an associate of the Archangel Michael. He is charged with restraining Leviathan, a monstrous sea creature, and destroying idolaters. This portrayal aligns with his role as a powerful angelic figure, tasked with maintaining order and combating evil forces. Jophiel. Jophiel, also known as Zophiel and Zuriel, is a prominent figure in Christian and Jewish angelology, associated with beauty, art, and wisdom. The name Jophiel means beauty of God in Hebrew, while Zophiel means God is my watchman, and Zuriel means God is my rock. 
Kalka Il. Kalka Il is an angel in Islamic belief, assigned the duty of guarding the entrance to the fifth heaven and overseeing the Uris, celestial beings often described as virgins in Islamic tradition. Karubiel. Karubiel is about seven heavens tall, with a body made of burning coals that is covered with thousands of eyes. His face is made of fire, his eyes spark of light, and his lashes are lightning bolts. Fire spews forth with every word that he speaks, and he is covered with wings from head to toe. Thunder, lightning, and earthquakes are his constant companions. Kiraman Katibin. In Islamic tradition, the two Kiraman Katibin, or honorable scribes, are Rakib and Atid, believed by Muslims to be two angels tasked with recording a person's actions. Kokabiel. His name is generally translated as Star of God, which is fitting since it has been said that Kokabiel taught astrology to his associates as well as the humans. He was subdued by the heavenly host and imprisoned within Sheol for his transgressions against God and heaven. Raphael. In the Christian tradition, Raphael stands as one of the seven archangels, the most esteemed celestial beings in the entirety of heaven. Raphael is the archangel of healing, miracles, and healers. Kushiel. In Judeo-Christian folklore, the angel Kushiel, meaning rigid one of God, punishes individuals in hell. Layla. In the Talmud, Layla is the angel of conception, pregnancy, childbirth, and the night. Layla is also the protector of children, as well being the only named dominion to be known. She has also been described as a seraph, and even an archangel of the night. Malik. In Islamic belief, Malik is an angel who holds a significant role in hell, also known as Jahannam in Arabic. Malik is tasked with administering the hellfire, ensuring that the punishment is carried out effectively. Manda di Hayi. In Mandaism, Manda di Hayi is an Uthra, which translates to angel or guardian. This angel is highly revered and considered the most important Uthra because he brings Manda, which refers to knowledge or gnosis, to earth, specifically to the region known as Tibul. Mastema. In ancient texts such as the Zadokite fragments and the Dead Sea Scrolls, Mastema is portrayed as an angel associated with disaster and evil. He is considered the father of all evil. Batriel. The name Batriel is thought to be derived from the Aramaic word matar, meaning rain, combined with el, which refers to God, thus translating to reign of God. Metatron. Metatron is an angel figure mentioned in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. He is depicted as a celestial scribe. Michael. Archangel Michael is a significant figure in various religious traditions. In Judaism, Michael is portrayed as the guardian of Israel. In Christianity, he is depicted as a warrior who leads the heavenly armies against Satan and his followers. In Islam, he is primarily associated with providing nourishment and sustenance to humans and overseeing natural phenomena.